Winston Edmondson here with Studio B, checking in with Brian Cox from EMC Isilon. So I stopped here because out of all these uh, booths, this one is particularly busy. There's a lot of excitement. Right. You got to tell me what, fill me in, what's happening? Well, so what we have is we're really helping customers in regards to getting their arms around all this file data. Think about all the photos that you're uploading to Facebook, right? I think they're dealing with hundreds of millions of photos a day and you're part of it, right? But we're in business, we're the same thing, whether it's medical images, scanned documents, log files from all the internet searches, all these things are just contributing to an explosion of file growth. So what we're doing is help customers get around this challenge. So. Our theme here in the booth for Isilon is Captain Scale Out. So he's really every day Bob the IT guy, overwhelmed with customer demands, how to deal with all this file storage, demanding bosses saying shrink your budgets and get it done, and he's pulling his hair out, but he's found the answer, what has made his conversion, right, uh, is Isilon. Right? He's been able to defeat the kryptonite of files with the new potion of Isilon to be able to handle petabyte scale in regards to all the files and unstructured data. It's the solution that everybody is rushing to because now they finally have an answer to this problem. They can convert from everyday Bob the IT guy into Captain Scale out themselves. So, so what you're telling me is that all these individuals are just overwhelmed IT personnel and they're coming to get rescued. This is uh... absolutely. <laughs> you know, they've been dealing with you know database transaction storage for years. They've mastered that, but now this new type of storage dealing with files and unstructured data is growing at six times that rate of what we're seeing with transactions. It's now 80% of everything that's stored in the world is file and unstructured data. So it is the elephant that's on the table that nobody's known how to deal with. Known how to talk about it, but now they have an opportunity to do so with Isilon. And that's why EMC bought Isilon just two and a half years ago, and now we're bringing this out to the full IT community. Smart move. It sounds like uh, this is going to be less of a hard sell and more of a, we're here to, to rescue you. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like anyone is uh, being persuaded. It seems like they're waiting in line to get some more information Absolutely. so they can get this done. It's the fastest growing business for EMC right now, is helping customers solve their big data problem. And that's what Iceland's here to do. That's why we have Captain Scale out to come to the rescue. Fantastic. Tell me about uh, EMC World this year. In your opinion, how is the, uh, the, the conference changing, evolving? What, what, are, what are you seeing? Well, I think there's some very exciting initiatives. What headlined it uh, this year was all about uh, software-defined storage. So we've solved the legs of you know, software-defined servers with VMware. Uh, software defined networking with companies like NICERA, which VMware bought, and what we're seeing from other networking companies. Now we're seeing the unleash of software defined storage, so you can have a complete software defined data center. And EMC is leading the way. I've talked to a number of analysts, and they say we are light years ahead of all the other vendors in regards to embracing this, because now we're bringing to the forefront the power of software to help solve this on a common hardware type of infrastructure and you know it's going to make things much more flexible, much less expensive, much easier to manage. It's it's going to be all good and EMC is leading the way on that. So that's the headliner and then complementing that is what we're going to be doing with this software defined storage which is named as Viper and how that works on the different platforms like Isilon. And Isilon itself continues to build out its capabilities as well. Moving from a lot of specialized verticals where we've been with you know media and entertainment and life sciences but moving deeply into the enterprise, so adding new capabilities. We announced uh, just this week in regards to space efficiency with deduplication, in regards to enhanced security with auditing capabilities, and, and just building out all of our solutions in mobility, working with simplicity, with analytics, dealing with Hadoop. Um, so it's just more and more solutions that we're making available to our customers to handle all their file challenges. Fantastic, now I can guarantee you that we've got some CIOs out there that are furiously jotting down notes about everything you're talking about, especially EMC Isilon. Uh, any other trends while we have their attention that you want to uh, mention that they should maybe look forward to as far as trends overall? Well, so you have your, your ongoing needs, right? Further demands for compliance, so you're going to have to protect your data for a very long time, so we've archiving solutions, things you're doing every day with collaboration, not only in your work groups with file shares, but doing this with online 
file sharing and collaboration tools like the simplicity that I, that I mentioned. So that collaboration, mobility, are big trends, the whole analytics uh, is a big trend. But the other thing that we've also introduced is the ability for additional ways to get at this data. So, you know, in traditional files, we've been using well-known protocols, NFS, SysSMB, but we've added to it a number of different interfaces for object technology, things like uh, S3-like interfaces, such as you see from Amazon, are now native on Isilon. We're going to be adding OpenStack with Swift interfaces. So, not only with file access, but also with different object access methods, you'll be able to get at this easy to manage, ever expanding pool of data from Isilon and get at from many different approaches, just making it more interoperable and an easy fit for our customers. Pretty exciting. So for the folks watching that uh, unfortunately can't be here and, and, and see this live in person, what's the best way for them to get additional information? Well, we have a number of ways to go ahead and get that. Just get on to the EMC World site, which is running right now. There'll be you know, a number of pointers to different presentations, the keynotes that are uh, happening. Uh, you can also go to, of course, emc.com and go to the section in regards to uh, Isilon and all the things that we're doing in regards to big data storage. You get a bunch of information there as well. And there are iPad apps as well. You can go out and download the EMC mobile app and find information there. So you can take it on the go with you on your iPad. You can go to your uh, regular internet portal and pull up the website. Uh, lots of different ways to get that information. Fantastic. EMC Isilon, remember the name. Winston Edmondson, Studio B, signing out.